A special thanks to Stellantis Robinson Day Coventry for allowing me to film this car. Information is provided down below. Hello there. This is a full depth tour review of the 2023 Peugeot 408 1.6 Pyotr Hybrid GT shown exterior, powertrain and interior. The exterior colours are Possession Blue. The GT comes with keyless entry as standard. Partial black leather and Alcantara seats, upholstery with Langrine stitching on it. Two spoke leather wrap multifunctional steering wheel with GT badging and Langrine stitching on the inner rim. There's also perforations on the sides. Engine start start button ahead of the selector. For transmission, the transmission is operated by the selector. I think this is an 8 speed automatic. P, R, N, D, and B. I think B is for regenerative braking. In D, the driver can use the power shifters on the steering wheel on each spoke. When placing this car in reverse, there's also a reversing camera along with Parkinson's front and rear. Drive mode selector. Electronic parking brake. Let's take a look at the exterior. Turn on the headlights. And the driver's side window. For the wheels, this has 19 inch graphite 5 spoke alloy rims with silver inserts. The wheels are wrapped in Goodyear. 24540 R20 tires. No, I am not referring to the 408 sedan. I'm referring to this Persian 408. First unveiled in June 2022, the sales began in January 2023. I class it as a compact or C segment 5 door hatchback or fastback. I'll explain about my point of view of the 408 later on. The 408 Fastback is based on Stellantis' latest efficient modular platform 2 used on other compact cars under Stellantis. The 408 went on sale in the UK in early 2023 with two trim levels currently available, Allio and GT, with current pricing starting at £31.9,000. For the design, the 408 Fastback is something to be curious about and looks seductive at every angle. For the side, the side looks like a coupe SUV with sloping roof and rugged SUV styling. There is a triangular rear quarter piece and Persia logos placed below the black side door mirrors. For the front, there are automatic matrix LED projector headlights with high beam assist, which connects to the vertical LED DRLs, body coloured accents on the grille, and a 408 badge above the grille. Around the rear, there are 3D LED combination rear lights with the signature claw effect, separate low mounted reverse and fog lights, and an inside high mounted third brake light in the rear window. Is this a crossover SUV or a hatchback? I asked the salespeople and they were plugged with the latter. I agree with the salespeople, it is a hatchback for two reasons. Number one, it bears only the single zero in its numeral, which means it is a passenger car from Peugeot, not an SUV. And number two, its height falls below 1.5 meters, means it's not tall enough to be an SUV. The 408 Fastback combines the practicality of a liftback 
and the styling of both a sedan and crossover SUV. The 408 is a practical alternative to the 308 hatchback and has coupe SUV styling but for those who don't need the larger 3008, neither the larger 508 fastback. What's the purpose of having the 408 Fastback when Persia already have the 308 Hatchback and two other practical estate cars? Powertrains, the 408 is available with three options in the UK. Under the bonnet is a 1.6 litre PureTech hybrid, inline 4, 16 valve, dual overhead cam, turbocharged petrol engine, equipped with direct fuel injection. This produces a combined output of 222 horsepower and 360 Nm of torque. For performance figures, a 0 to 62 miles per hour time in 7.8 seconds and a top speed of 145 miles per hour or 233 kilometers per hour. The battery uses lithium iron at a capacity of 12.4 kilowatts per hour and an electric range of 34 miles or 55 kilometers. This has a 40 liter fuel tank. It has a combined fuel consumption of 201.8 miles per gallon or 1.2 litres per 100 kilometres and CO2 emissions of 31 grams per kilometre The 408 is a front wheel drive car The front doors have soft touch, felt, leather and hard plastic materials Electronic central locking for electric window controls all of them are automatic in both directions up and down Window lock, mirror controls. This has auto power foldable side door mirrors. Decent size door pocket on the front doors. This button is for the power tailgate to open up the fuel flap. I don't know what's this one for. Automatic transmission, dual aluminium pedals, Peugeot doors, aluminium Peugeot door sill. The driver's seat has four manual adjustments. This is for the manual lumbar support. This is for the recline. Seat height. And the bar for the sliding. The steering wheel has manual turn telescope adjustment. Adjust it using the lever down here. On the steering wheel, on the left spoke is the adaptive cruise control. On the right spoke, volume, seat track. The, I've pressed this to access the radio stations. We take that call voice control. Power shifters on the steering wheel. Right spoke is the automatic wiper controls. The left door is the automatic headlight, fog light indicator controls. The headlights are automatic. The buttons on each stalk are used to operate the 12.3 inch full digital MID display. The white button here for the trip computer. The left button Changes the instrument dials view. For infotainment, this comes with a 10 inch HD touchscreen which contains many media options, includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Sat Nav, and this comes with a focal premium hi fi sound system with 10 speakers. Before showing the touchscreen, the media shortcut buttons 
on touchscreen format. Down below, volume power knob, car menu, access the AC menu from the rear defrost with circulation. Turn off the AC, has a light switch. For the touchscreen, let's show the climate first. This has dual zone automatic climate control, temperature on each side, different zones, fan speed, AC, three stages of automatic mode, sync. Turn on the steam wheel heater, air quality sensor, precondition the air con. The media menu. Can save a preset here, seat trap mute, can switch between FM, AM and DAB radio, stations brings a list of radio stations in the area, settings for sound, radio and volume, The advanced driver assistance system menu allows to turn on or off safety features and view video tutorials. Day and time allows to adjust its settings. It also brings the settings menu with settings for driver profile, connectivity, audio vehicle and many more. Navigation brings to a map that is linked with TomTom Tom. It allows to zoom in and out of the map and type in a destination above. Click on the top portion of the touchscreen, can turn on or off the Wi Fi, adjust the brightness, adjust the instrument cluster, and others. I think that's it for the touchscreen. The touchscreen and its graphics are great to look at and is responsive to use. What puts me off is the shortcut buttons are embedded within the touchscreen and the only way to control the AC aircon is through the touchscreen. Down below the touchscreen, while it's charging pad, it is illuminated. There's a bit of storage there. USB input for the media, 12 volt power outlet. Open this portion up with those two cup holders. Small exposed storage. Split armrest made out of leather with green stitching. Huge storage area with USB input. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Seatbelt reminder. Touch sensitive LED reading lights. This button turns off the interior alarm sensors. I think this is the SOS emergency support assistance. Front grim handles for both sides. To summarise the Peugeot 408's interior, the interior is an art piece on the design of the centre console, the screen layout and the materials used, and what is on the touchscreen can be mirrored on the driver's instrument cluster. I dislike there is no physical controls for the important features, for example the aircon. 
The seats are very comfortable and supportive. On the dashboard, there is a mixture of hard plastic and soft touch materials used. Now let's check out the rear seats. The rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors, except the top part is made out of hard plastic. Decent sized door pocket on the rear doors. Specific chair seat anchor points on the rear seats hidden by the zips. The rear seats do fold down like that. There's also another way for it. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. The front seat is positioned well forward. I've got plenty of leg room and the general smile of headroom. I believe tall people, six footers, may not be fine back into the rear seat headroom. Storage nets, rear aircon vents, along with two USB inputs for charging, exposed bit of storage, direct transmission floor, rear centre armrest with two cut holders, a bit of storage, pass through to the rear. Rear grip handles with individual reading lights. Now let's check out the boot. The boot and the 408s are a great size. Pass yourself. Hook on each side along with levers to fold down the rear seats. White storage net. Straps on the left. Anchor points there. Open this up here. Is the toolkit and the batteries. The rear seats do fall down. Like that. So this is the new one, Okay. Can you put the in the The front passenger seat has the same set of manual adjustments as the driver's side except for the manual lumbar support knob. This comes with six airbags as standard. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested, and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you're led to whenever I upload a new video in the future.